In this video, you will learn why the fitting file size is important. Just for an easier comprehension, I will estimate a one tower residential building. A pipe elbow belongs to the pipe fitting category, while motor pump belongs to mechanical equipment. Because the amount of repetitions, the pipe elbow family file should be kept as small as possible, while the motor pump can be bigger and more detailed. Since the number of repetitions is much smaller than the fittings. What makes the file bigger? The number of extrusions. More details lead to larger files. The type of extrusion does not change much the file size. More parameters and more tooltips means larger size. Creating a family template full of parameters and then deleting the unnecessary ones leads to larger files. It's better to keep your family template small. Embedding an image will increase the file size in the exact same amount of the image file, so smaller image files are better. Nesting families will increase the family size, but they can make your workflow easier. They can help you to create new types and new families faster and reliable. They can also help you to populate quantity schedules without manipulating the schedules. Whenever it's possible, avoid transferring parameter values to nested families. It won't make the file bigger, but it will reduce the model performance. The amount of information and detailed geometry are not attached. You can have a LOD100 model full of data, or a rich LOD400 model with no data. Before including data, it's good to have a previous analysis of which data will be necessary. Some data are Revit native, while others must be inputted manually or created reading parameters to supply them. The use of the model will help us to decide about the necessary data too. Now you can choose the information that will be supplied by your component in your Bing workflow. See you in the next video.